So I've decided on shiplap for back here. I've got two boards up. My starter boards, I did them here because I did not want to have to notch around those cabinets. So that is board one and then below it board two. And I'm going to keep on cranking. I'm excited. And it's done. Uh, really not too many hiccups. Um, the trouble I ran into was just at the top. Because once again, things are not perfectly square in a travel trailer. Um, I am going to just use a little, um, some type of little adhesive trim. I went ahead and went down here. So as you can see. The uh, little closet cabinets are, um, they're not square. They're both kind of the same way. Uh, I went ahead and did this bottom piece. It wasn't necessary, but I did it last. I had the board painted already and went ahead and notched it, uh, actually measured and cut. And it went in right the first time, which was pretty exciting. Uh, nothing magical, just, you know, <laughs> it worked. Uh, let's see. I'll probably need to either caulk or do some little trim right there too. I don't like that edge. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's not horrible, but I want it finished. So, uh, and as you can see, there's some space here. No big deal. Uh, some kind of nice trim up there. Probably what the little silicone, I think it's what it was, adhesive, like, teeny tiny crown molding so anyways it goes all the way down uh, I've got the mattress pulled out obviously so it will be shiplap all the way down to every bit you can see and I will fill the nail holes with a little spackle and touch up paint and that will be complete I have yet to decide if I want oh well I know I want to paint these I'm just not sure I'm going to um I'm pretty sure I will uh, especially since I was not at all careful uh, getting the uh, shiplap in. So there's little white scuff marks and stuff. I'm sure a magic eraser would take them off. But I'm thinking dark blue would be really cute. Uh, oh, and up here above the little shelf, I'm going to... Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Just bonk you in the head. Um, this is really curved. You can't probably tell... No, you really can't. Uh, it's very curved, so there's no way I didn't want to try to fight with the shiplap up there. Probably just do this uh, like it is everywhere else. So if you think you want to tackle some shiplap in your travel trailer or anywhere, uh, locate the studs in your walls, get you some liquid nails, get some shiplap, uh, get a coat of paint on there. Uh, you'll need spackle after the fact and nail them in and spackle and touch up paint and you'll have a beautiful shiplap wall. It is bright, we just love it. I hope that you will subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have a lot of project videos to share. Most of them are much more informative than this, but uh, still, this gave you a nice little quickie project to really brighten up your space. Take care and we hope to see you out on the road.